The fall of 2018 was really tough in a lot of ways. The number of farmers who were not able to get soil samples pulled in the northern U.S. and Canada is going to make it a challenge to update fertility recommendations. Spring soil sampling is the topic of today's Iron Talk. This winter, the big discussion in farming was geared around reducing costs and improving profit per bushel. The biggest variable input cost on most farms is fertility additions. If you're fired up about lowering your fertilizer investment but don't have great data to base your decisions on, spring soil sampling is a must. If you're used to doing your sampling in the fall, there are additional considerations you need to keep in mind for sampling soil in the spring. It's not too complicated, though. Just use some common sense. Soil sampling is pretty straightforward, especially with helpful tools like the Ag PhD Soils app at your disposal. Just set up your account and pick the fields online. Then head to the field and get your samples pulled. However, if your soil is just thawing out, you need to be prepared for that. You can pull samples from frozen ground, but it takes more work. Let's start with the assumption that your ground is thawed, but maybe a little wet or sticky. The best ideas I've heard about dealing with that situation are to either A, bring along a pail of water so you can dip the probe in and wash it off as needed, B, and this is what I commonly do, use WD-40 and spray your probe as often as needed to keep soil from sticking, or C, use a wood dowel system, this is something I also do, to push the soil out of the probe if you're having trouble. Even if the sample is just a little bit on the wet side, you don't need to dry it before sending it in. Just use the sample bags provided by your soil's lab of choice and send them in immediately to avoid mold developing in the bags. The next hurdle you may have is if tillage has already been done. If the field's uneven, it's hard to get an accurate measurement from each of the first six inches in your soil, assuming that you're doing a six-inch soil sample. The best suggestion here is to simply level off the areas where you're sampling before you pull your cores. Another challenge with tillage is that there is a lot of fluff in the soil, and you may not be filling the probe just right if you put it only six inches in the ground. Now, if the tillage was done in the fall, it's generally settled out by spring, so this shouldn't be a problem. However, if spring tillage is going to be done, make every effort to get the samples pulled before the tillage pass to give you the most accurate representation of your soil. The other challenge with spring soil sampling is simply having the time to do it without delaying your planting. Hopefully the weather cooperates with some warm days a few weeks ahead of planting to get sampling done, receive the results from the lab, make the recommendations, and apply the needed fertility. If not, you can still pull samples after planting and utilize side dress and foliar fertilizer treatments to make up for any nutrient shortfalls left after planting. Spring soil sampling can be a little challenging depending on the weather and field conditions, but it still can be very accurate and helpful for making the best fertility recommendations for this year's crop. Be prepared before you head to the field, and spring soil sampling should go smoothly. Who knows, you may even like it better than pulling samples in the busy harvest season. That's all for today's Iron Talk, and now, back to the show.